if you have downtime while you're waiting for something specific like cash to come in or a particular project to finish that's a good option a good opportunity to go and actually put in some more decoration decoration affects the happiness of your uh, passengers and you'll see at the top here there's currently a 61 percent terminal quality according to passengers so let's see if we can improve on that by throwing some more plants in in this instance I think I'll go with hedges uh, to place hedges it's just the same process as placing a wall click and drag um, not much more to say about it the other types of plants you place one at a time and I think using a wall shape is actually the better option right now now while it seems very unrealistic to me that having hedges inside a airport terminal like this would actually be done it has improved the satisfaction rating so we've gone from 61 to 63 percent just by putting in some hedges the other reason I placed them where I did is because I didn't want passengers if essentially interfering with each other's traffic flow. So previously I had passengers walking from the entry point up to all the way up to gate 8 and they were running in between all of these seats. I don't want that so by having the hedge here it acts as a bit of a fence and corrals people into moving on the outside of each gate. And I've let their game run a bit and you'll see that our, our terminal quality has jumped all the way up to 92%. So our hedges are doing some really good work at keeping customers happy. Another quick tip when it comes to decorating your airport is that it is actually possible to move some objects without deleting them and rebuilding them. So take this vending machine for example. I'm not happy with where these are right now because I'm going to extend the terminal slightly. So if I right click on one of them, I can actually relocate them like so. No time cost, no, sorry, no cost involved and no time waiting for contractors to arrive, remove it and put it back. Unfortunately, you can't do that with walls or hedges or conveyor belts or various other objects, but seating, desks, and various other decorations that can be moved. I noticed our research for structural engineering has finished so I can actually upgrade this now. I'm going to put in concrete. I'm also going to put in the PAPI lights if memory serves, in real life, PAPI lights are placed about one third of the way along the runway. And these are the little lights that tell the pilot whether they're online left and right and whether they're at the right height for their current distance from the runway. In game, I'm not sure that it actually makes a difference, but it's nice to have. I'm also going to go through and upgrade all of my other things to concrete now, including all of the stands. There's not much to this really, it's just the same process you've seen with upgrading the runway. Select each ramp or each stand, select upgrade and then choose concrete. Just a quick little tip, if you're trying to draw something in a line such as in this case upgrading a service road and you need to scroll down, doing it with moving them 
screen by moving the mouse means that you accidentally hover over other elements. Sometimes when you do that, the game will assume that you're trying to switch to using that type of thing instead of just letting you move the screen. So if you use the arrow keys, it's actually quite simple to just drag the screen around and draw in a straight line without having to worry about accidentally selecting a different option. At this stage in my airport construction, I'm not really doing a lot of actual construction. I've only been doing very small pieces, adding in a few seats or some information stands and that sort of thing. So having 134 contractors is way more than I need. To save some money, I can cut down on the number of contractors I have by changing the number that are deployed. So I don't want to dismiss all of them, but if I hit max and then minus that for a bit, I think having 50 contractors instead of 134 is a good saving without really compromising the speed at which I'm building things. So we'll just dismiss them and that was loud. Uh, <laughs> we'll dismiss them and save $5.30 on every one of them per hour. So that's a big cost reduction in terms of hourly grade. Let's have a look. Contractors, okay. So 716, now we'll wait for them to go away. Okay, now instead of $716 per hour, it's only 267. That's quite a saving when you think about how many hours will flick by in this game.